Assalamu alaikum my name is Mahmoud Mohammed Feroz and I am the leader of my group and Sarim uh, Sarim uh, and Mary my my group members and Samir Khaled is the corresponding member of our group we are the students of Baia University Karachi campus BS accounts and finance department today in this video we are going to represent our project that is mind mapping of a book 3 that is the power of self confidence written by Brian Tracy Uh, our mentor sir mohammad afzal gave this book to make the mind mapping and he really helped us in completion of this project without his guidance and help it was not possible to complete this project now starting with the introduction um, i will give you the short review of our book that what was the main theme of our book the main theme of our book is to uh, exp- is to explain how confidence is important in our life if you are dedicated to your work and your goals are strong and uh, you want to do something uh, there is no power on earth that can undo your uh, confidence if you are dedicated to do to do something or uh, to work on something uh, it was not possible that it will not come in good results so we will discuss uh, uh, further in chapters that how uh, uh, confidence can be developed or how confidence has as you all can see on the screen that our main theme of our mind map is uh, a world and its continents and its subdivisions so our book uh, the uh, our book the power of self confidence is giving the overview of the world like the whole book is giving the view of the world and its divisions like chapters are the continents of the world and these two hands is you can see that these are the controlling power of the worlds that different countries have the control over different there are different powers on all that are controlling the world so uh, we have given the touch of that uh, so starting with the chapter 1 uh, now sami will start the chapter number 1's uh, presentation today i will be talking about my chapter which is chapter 1 the foundation of self confidence in my chapter which is self confidence talks about the personal development which is necessary for a person the mental evolution depends on the thought that you have in your mind there is a famous saying of william shakespeare there is nothing either good or bad but thinking makes it so so the next heading in this chapter is you th- you become what you think about in this heading it tells us what you think becomes part of your personality and character think the th- thoughts that the kind of person you would like to be so it is basically telling us that anything you think about becomes a part of your mental process so if you want to be smart persistently think the thoughts you would like to be the next heading is personal growth is not easy so in this heading it tells us what people avoid the most face it most It also tells us thought is creative with thought often becomes your reality. It also share us the idea about you become what you think. The next heading is your inner life predict your outer life in which it tells us about happy and satisfied people obey law of nature. Obeying the law of nature consistently is the true happiness and success. Next heading is start with an inner life. In this it tells us if you want to enjoy on the outside then you must practice complete integrity on the inside. and if you are doing the right thing then you must have a complete confidence in yourself the most important thing is that you remain true to yourself the next heading is determine your values It tells us superior people are those who take time to decide think truly and decide your values because corporate values are very vital next heading is values in business in this it tells us every corporation will select the value of integrity because integrity is more than a value organizing principle for the entire corporation is very important the next heading is clarify your personal values why do we clarify our personal values we do it for self confidence and to boost personal greatness think about your values because they are very important the next heading is who do you most admire thinking about the men and women who you admire the most is a useful exercise we look for a person who have good qualities and attributes So the next heading is values are non-negotiable. In this the act of selecting your value is also the act of clearly stating to yourself that how you will live your life from now onwards. And once you have selected the value there is no going back. 
and the most important thing is never violate your highest principle study heading values are non negotiable the next heading is values clarification if you are facing any difficulty in clarifying your values then take out some time and write out your own biography or autobiography which will help you a lot it also tells us that no one is perfect so if you want to be perfect then write out your own obituary the next heading is organize your value once you have decided your value now it is time to organize your value by priority now you have to decide which value is more important for you and which is less organizing the value is very important because it determines the kind of person you are and the kind of life you will live so to sum up this heading organize your value by priority so the next heading is the order of values forces you to choose in this it tells us that family comes before your health or your work and it also tells us to sacrifice your work for well being of your family then selecting your values and putting them in order of importance makes a better choice and decision in every area of your life next heading is integrity revisited principle of integrity is also the law of universe integrity is very important for successful human being a person must also live in truth which means that he should never stay in a situation that makes him unhappy so living in truth is very important for a person next heading is set peace of mind as your highest principle set peace of mind as your highest principle you must live in truth you must say or do the thing which you feel right for a peaceful life the next heading is your values are only expressed in your action true values are only expressed in your action so it means that true values can only be revealed when you observe the next heading is the law of reversibility which means that thoughts and feeling leads to action and there is a famous saying of dr william action seems to follow feelings but really action and feeling go together and by regulating the action which is under the more direct control of the will we can indirectly regulate the feeling which is not next heading is the act as if principle in this it tells that practicing good values makes a truly superior person self confidence and self discipline is the basic key to live your highest values the next heading is the principle of resistance in this heading it tells us about that for mental development principle of resistance is necessary and if you are consistent with your highest values it becomes a part of your character last heading of chapter 1 is developing inner strength in this heading it tells us about how to live a happy and a positive life by behaving honestly and by living a life of perfect integrity and after developing the inner strength your personality will be more charming and will also become a more permanent part of the exceptional human being that you are in the process of becoming okay so starting with the chapter number 2 purpose and personal power there can be no great courage where there is no confidence and or assurance and half the battle is in the conviction that we can do what we undertake orison sweet marden to uh, has stated this statement that there is no great courage on earth that where there is no confidence if there is no confidence there is no courage on earth so the there are several headings in my chapter number 2 uh, so starting with the uh, law of indirect effort so in this uh, the law of indirect effort states that uh, there are some indirect effort that we do uh, for uh, our main goal like if we want to drink water or if we want to eat something we have to do s- several steps like if we want to drink water we have to uh, go to the uh, mineral water shop or the a uh, 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 store where we can buy water so there are indirect effort that we have gone there and buy that product so this is the indirect effort similarly if we are planning our goals or uh, have objective of doing something so we have to do some different efforts to get that the results in the uh, in achieving the, that goal when we do the, those efforts and uh, 
वर्क ऑन आर गोल्स देर मस्ट बी हार्ड वर्क टू अचीव दो दो स्मॉल और बिग गोल्स डेट वी हैव प्लान टू डू एंड वी हैव टू बी मोटिवेटेड टूवर्ड्स आर गोल्स इफ़ वी आर नॉट मोटिवेटेड और इफ़ वी आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट इन डूइंग दोज गोल्स आर एफर्ट्स विल बी यूजलेस और एफर्ट्स और वी कैन नॉट अचीव दोज गोल्स so we can easily say that uh, those goals are the result of doing something else if we do something for uh, the main thing then we can achieve do that big thing if we don't uh, put effort small little efforts or indirect things like uh, our, uh, hard work motivation and believing in our personality we cannot do uh, any objective or any goal ओके द सेकेंड हैडिंग ऑफ माई चैप्टर इज बिकम मोर कॉन्फिडेंट एंड कॉम्पिटेंट सो कॉन्फिडेंस इज समथिंग दैट वी डेवलप बाई आर सेल्फ इफ वी वॉन्ट टू बी कॉन्फिडेंट वी विल एंड इफ वी थॉट दैट आई कॉन्ट डू एनी थिंग आई कॉन्ट मेक एनी थिंग और समथिंग लाइक दैट इट्स आर इज बेसिकली इट्स आर स्टेट ऑफ माइंड इफ वी इफ वी थिंक पॉजिटिव वी कैन डू एनी थिंग एंड इफ अ नेगेटिव thing come in our mind it always lead to a negative path like we cannot achieve our goals with the negative thinking so it is important to be uh, to think positive and uh, be confident on whatever we have decided be confident on what you have decided to work on so you can achieve anything that you put into your mind if you put uh, that i can do anything so you can achieve anything in the world uh, whether it is how it is difficult or how it requires hardships or hard work you can achieve that thing but if you if a little a little piece of self lacking of self confidence or negative thinking came into your mind it means you are going to lose everything because that negative uh, negative thinking attracts more than positive so be positive and be confident on whatever you are doing okay the third part or subdivision of my chapter is thought is creative so thought is not something what you think to do it is something that you wanted to think if you think if you wanted to think positive it results in positive attitudes and goals and if you wanted to think negative then it always come in negative results so whatever you think is the result it will result in what you achieve so be positive and think positive and create new innovations and creativity so never thought that you are th- what uh, is th- coming into your mind is your thinking it's what you wanted to think whatever happen in our lives like uh, it, if if we talk about success or failure if we talk about wealth or poverty or health or illness or happiness or unhappiness or all the things that happens to our lives is uh, basically our effort and our thinking uh, the bible teaches the this basic law that uh, what you sow is what you reap so what man think will result in the uh, okay, achieved goal or something like that so it is always the result what we think and what we sow for the res- uh, for the reaping or for the harvesting of the thing okay the law of attraction the law of attraction states that um uh, everything depends on person's mental state it is the most important mental law law sorry mental law in explaining uh, what happens to you uh, this law is like uh, says that like attracts likes M- means that uh, uh, a person is attracted with the ideas opportunities or circumstances that are happening around uh, a person's life like uh, uh, a magnet always attract iron filling and a person always attract uh, whatever is uh, whatever is going around him or her or whatever the thinking is coming into their minds it is the attraction that uh, what 
a person is thinking most of the time is uh, will be attracted uh, by that person so uh, this law st- simply states that uh, what we think most of the time will attract us so that is the basic uh, concept of this law okay so law of correspondence the, so the law of correspondence says that uh, our inner and outer worlds are connected if we are internally happy or satisfied our outer layer which uh, outer part or layer whatever you call it our outer part or layer will be satisfied and happy and will result in good attitudes and goal achievement and many other good things like uh, if uh, the, uh, we are healthy wealthy and relationships will uh, um, i mean um, uh, if we uh, are uh, in our if we are satisfied with our health and if we are earning and we are happy with that earning or satisfied with the results then our outer world we can do more efforts and will be happy to do something good for that so this is the uh, basic concept that both the uh, outer and inner self should be connected and be satisfied and happy because outer and inner uh, world of our body are connected and uh, they work uh, if the both the things are uh, properly working or uh, satisfied uh law of concentration so concentration uh, is basically what which help us in increasing the growth of our goals objectives aims purpose what we are uh, wanted to do if we are concentrated on our work and focused on what we wanted to do then we can do everything the law of substitution now uh, what is law of substitution uh, um, it says that uh, there is only one thought at the time uh, whether it is positive or negative uh, if there is a positive thinking there must be no po- negative thinking and there if there is negative thinking there must be no positive thinking so our mind uh, holds only one thought at a time and uh, if our main uh, if our mind hold one thought at, uh, one positive thought then uh, slowly and gradually our other body parts and our whole uh, body and our state of mind start getting that point so the uh, we that uh, single uh, positive thought will result in the best results if uh, we are motivated and focused on our and concentrated on our work Sec- uh, now talking about the law of emotion the development of uh, purpose personal power and so- self confidence uh, there is always the law of emotion uh, this law says that uh, when uh, at every decision that you make uh, every thought uh, that come into your mind every action you take is based on your emotions that there must be an emotion of con- uh, confidence or desire or emotion of fear uh, uh, there are different emotion if fear uh, losing of uh, losing something or having something in your life the more powerful your emotion is the more effective it has on your thinking and action if your emotions have a strong control on your ideas and thoughts then then you will achieve uh, uh the desired goals now starting with the power of decision so here is a story of a friend uh, that is discussed in the book the writer discussed that uh, he had a friend who smoked for like 30 years and uh, that friend claimed that he couldn't quit smoking because uh, uh, he was addicted to that or he has a habit of uh, having smoke a day or uh, Uh, he was smoking since this uh, adulthood so one day uh, he had a g- very deep chest pain so he went to the doctor and uh, asked what the matter is so doctor uh, told that if you continue your smoking you will die very soon or, or you will be dead within 6 months or 7 months uh, so oh, 
Samuel uh, Samuel Johnson once said, "When a man is to be hanged on the morrow, it clear his mind wondrously." So, uh, if uh, that person had a strong had made the strong control on his emotions and uh, st- making promise with his, himself that he will not smoke, uh, uh, onwards and. he did that because he had a strong control on his emotions that he will never smoke uh, till his life uh, because he want to live a good and better life so this is the power of emotion that if you have a strong control on your uh, emotions like if you have a control on what you want to do then you can achieve anything in your life then there are four c's uh, like clarity conviction commitment and consistency clarity means if you have a goal you have a clear uh, a view of that goal that what you want to accomplish and what uh, is your wish what you want to become uh, second one is conviction you have to de- develop the unshakable belief that you whatever you are doing you can do anything and you are putting your mind in it so you can do anything uh third one is commitment uh commitment is to resolve to do whatever is necessary uh you have to develop the willingness to pay the price or cost in advance for any success that you desire uh you have to uh, put something uh, uh, very much effort in your work so to get uh desired goals uh consistency consistency means you have to continue your work you have to work slowly uh, a small baby steps will uh, bring you to the uh, big goal or to achieve the big goal so consistency is very important uh, if you want to do any work or any goal you have to do it uh, for example if a, a teacher gave you maths uh is problem to solve you practice that and then you got a command on that problem so uh, consistency is very important so importance of goals why goals are important in our lives goals are really important if we don't have any goal in la- in our lives we are useless like we are living a life like uh, we are uh, th- that's uh, there is no reason to live so goals are imp- very important like uh, if uh, you have the ability to set goals you can have uh, you can accomplish anything you can get anything in your life so goals are really important part of our lives so there are different remarkable success stories that uh, show the importance of goals like there are people who are facing different uh, phases of life difficult phases of their lives and they uh, during those difficult phases they set their new goals and start working on those goals and those goals will help them to recover from those difficult times and uh, bring them back to their lives so goals are really important uh, now fear holds you back uh, fear uh fear is something that bring a person f- from uh from sky to the uh floor of the world like if a person ha uh, is very confident on his or her work and uh for some reason he got a fear and the results uh, the those golden results will turn into dark results because of that fear so, f- so fear holds you back uh everything in the world is the result of fear or desire if you desire to do something you cannot you never see what is happening what is the matter you just wanted to do that and if you have a fear a small piece of fear in your heart that small piece of fear will bring you step back from your uh from your goal so Uh, without any hesitation whatever you wanted to do do it and never uh, get your fear on your uh, heart fear is the biggest enemy of a person uh, a greatest enemy of self confidence is just the fear so uh, 
sometimes this fear will demotivate you to do your desired goals because that fear in your mind and in your heart bringing you step back so never uh, give up of your fear and the opportunity to bring you back from your goal and always believe in your ability if you don't believe in your ability fear will be there for you so believe in your abilities and be positive so as we have discussed that fear is the biggest enemy so uh, similarly the comfort zone the comfort zone is also the greatest enemy of human achievement if a person think that uh, he can do anything and he is really really perfect in everything and everything is really easy and don't require any kind of attention that make a person over confident which is really harmful for the achievement of the goals and for human any kind of achievement or any kind of goal so never thought that you are perfect there is always a small piece of uh, left where you can uh, fill that gap between your achievement and your goals uh, so this over confident will cause the failure of the goal so never be over confident and always keep learning and never thought that you are perfect so now imagine no limitations so when you start making your goals kick out all the limitations from your life and make things achievable make your goals uh, those kinds which you thought ke it it can be achieved uh, easily and you can work on that and decide what is right and what is wrong before you decide what is possible so if you cannot think what is going on and what is possible so you cannot achieve anything then when you th- think that if there are no limitations so dream big dreams like if you wanted to dream big uh, think that there are no limitations initially think that there are no limitations then set goals and if uh, when you start making your goals make the list of your goals which will really help you in uh, in making that which goal is important which is more prior and then may uh, so then and then start setting your goals like which is the most important one and which is the least important one which is this self concept improves your self confidence uh, when you are when your mind is uh, in process that this thing is going to be first this thing is going to be last this will really help you in building the confidence uh, easily when you make the list of your goals uh, write, uh, make the written form of a uh, list of your goals and then divide the goals in different areas of your life like financial or material goals family and personal goals self improvement educational spiritual health fitness social community goals and different kind of goals whatever you are uh, you are dividing your life uh, accordingly this really help you in giving the priority that which one is the most important and which one is the least important then organize your goals always organize your goals if you are if you are uh, decided ke i have to do this goal first and this goal lastly so then you are prepare that this is the most important goal of my life then this will be the key of key to success if you are selecting your goals which are most important and select those first which are more important than other others and put them on the top of the list so so you can easily accomplish the those goals which are more prior or uh, which are least prior so this will really help you in making your goals organized and achieving those goals so in this way you can achieve your goals easily and effectively then make yourself bound by time that i have to do that uh, task in uh, this specific period of time and if you are not able to do that it means you are failing in making your uh, goal accomplish so always measure uh, measure your goals and bound yourself by time and make your plan plans that how you have to uh, uh, make steps in uh, in uh, accomplishing your goal so always try to make a small small plans to accomplish or to achieve your goals uh, in organized and appropriate manner uh, 
and that's it that was my chapter ended and now uh, my other group members will discuss uh, what the other chapters are, are talking about okay so in chapter 4 Uh, the inner game of self confidence some heading have been discussed in first heading which is uh, law of belief they're saying that everything is possible if you believe in yourself and when you started believing in yourself your beliefs will become your realities and then you will be able to see world based on your beliefs if we talk about power of belief which is the second heading of uh, this chapter there is a story of a businessman who had a great loss in his business and was very worried about that one day he went for a walk and was thinking that whether he should continue his business or not and at the time an old man was watching him and decided to ask him what's the matter so for some reasons that old business that businessman told him about all his financial problems that how he is facing a great loss in his business and all that after listening to him old man said that he can help him then he suddenly pulled a check book out of his uh, pocket and wrote a check of for him and asked him to return all that money back after one year on same day so after seeing that old man disappears and was business and businessman was very confused that uh, and they was thinking that why that old man helped him and give him check when he open up the check that was of 500000 Uh, dollars which is half a million first he thought it was all a joke and all that he didn't believe in that check then he saw a sign on check uh, which is which was of uh, john d Lo- rockefeller who was the richest man in the world and was known for giving money to others then he was very happy and decided to put the check in his safe and started dealing with his suppliers and all that and he was very satisfied that he had money and keep on working on his business with full concentration so after one year he went to that uh, park uh, with that uncashed check in his hand and at exactly agreed time that older man came and uh, when businessman was about to give him back his check and tell him the story of how he get his uh, business stable uh, suddenly a came uh, nurse came running out of the darkness and uh, grabbed that old man's arm then she apologized to the businessman and told her him that he is always escaping from the rest home and going around telling people that he is john d rockefeller that businessman was very shocked that he was not a rock de feller uh, he was an old man random old man all year he had been dealing his business with calm and confident that he had a, a check of a half a million in his safe and he could cash it at any time he was so shocked that he had made his business successful on ba- based on his belief even though his beliefs were based on false information means that if you believe in yourself you can do anything Okay, so third heading of this chapter is uh, first convince yourself. Um, once you're convinced and focused, your belief will become more stronger, and world will accept you at your own estimations. You can develop your self confidence that you desire uh, by repeating certain thoughts and actions over and over, which are positive. We should be po- that thoughts should be very positive and straight. So, if we talk about uh, control your suggestive environment, which is the fifth or sixth heading of this chapter, so uh, to enjoy the high level of self-confidence, uh, you should be able to make up your own mind and free yourself from influence that cause you feel negative. Mm, uh, you can be inordinately influenced by anything like TV, radio, newspaper, and etc. if we talk about power of suggestion so what you do say think and feel is determined by emotional and psychological suggestive influence around you um, the powerful uh, powerful influence in determining mental and emotional state is the power so of suggestion when people are in control of emotions uh, they choose to feel happy you can control your emotions by not reacting on such things which trigger you the most and all that Mm-hmm. there is one way to control your mind um, is to identify the external factor that cause you become so angry you should make a list of everything that might cause you to respond negatively and all that and so more you practice to be calm the easier it will become for you to be, be positive we talk about uh, power of self confidence or sorry self suggestions so self suggestion is uh, when you put both hands on control of your own mental life if you choose to be positive then uh, automatically negative one will get uh, 
वैनिस्ड वी शुड ट्राई टू मेक थिंग्स सिचुएशन लाइक एंड व्यूड लाइक एन अपॉर्चुनिटी लाइक एवरी सिचुएशन इज अ पॉजिटिव सिचुएशन इफ यू व्यूड इट एज अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर ग्रो टॉक अबाउट द पावर ऑफ ऑटो सजेशन सो ऑटो सजेशन टेक प्लेस वैन यू हैव रिपीटेड मैसेजेस टू यू और सबकॉन्शियस माइंड दे टेक ऑन अ पावर ऑफ देयर ओन दे फंक्शन ऑटोमेटिकली एंड यू शुड टेक चार्ज ऑफ योर लाइफ लाइक नो वन कैन मेक यू फील इन्फीरियर विदाउट योर कंसेंट एक्सेप्टिंग रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज वेरी मैंडेटरी एंड कीप इन माइंड दैट नो वन विल कम एंड रेस्क्यू यू यू शुड एंड यू शुड कीप इन माइंड दैट एवरी एक्शन हैव इट्स कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस टू अडल्ट एक्सेप्ट दैट एवरी कॉज देर विल बी एन अफेक्ट और रिएक्शन सो यू शुड बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट थाट्स यू थिंक एंड द एक्शन यू टेक समथिंग दैट इनफॉर्चुनेट हैज हैपन इज अ फैक्ट If we talk about uh, goals, uh, your goals should be very optimistic and is to be happy and confident. You can achieve this uh, by taking spe- specific uh, practical steps that have been uh, used by millions of people. And uh, try to have a positive self-talk. It helps you to become more strong. Having positive self-talk uh, is to interpret everything that happens to you in few uh, favorable way. If you are in trouble, then imagine that everything that has happened is to teach you something valuable. Don't get negative thoughts about that. Be positive. You should accept positive uh, expectations as well. Uh, when you uh, develop an attitude of positive self expectancy, you become more uh, optimistic and cheerful person. You should control your thoughts and feelings. Uh, like if something is very difficult to do, then just say you love it and you can do it. and yourself to do that work my name is sarim and i am representing chapter 5 from this book in this chapter i'll be explaining these titles you see in this mind mapping so the first title this chapter includes is capitalizing on your strengths so self confidence goes hand in hand with winning with self esteem with success and happiness in everything you do one of the starting points of capitalizing on your strengths is for you to recognize that you have tremendous strengths of ability and character that you can bring to bear to accomplish almost anything you want the next heading is working on your area of excellence so each person has one or more areas of excellence that if properly exploited would enable them to be anything they could possibly want the next heading is choose the right field uh, which gives a lesson about that um, as you know the wealthy people in this study never set out to make a lot of money instead they set out to find fields that they really enjoyed the money came as an afterthought uh, we have another heading which is happiness and satisfaction uh, the flip side of this equation is that you will never really be happy or satisfied <coughs> until you have found a way to apply your unique human capabilities to your life and to your career so without that feeling of challenge and growth you will experience a nagging discontent which is a good sign discontent and dissatisfaction almost uh, always precede a constructive change that forces you to change and starts you growing once more next we will talk about living congruently Uh, in chapter 1 we spoke about how important values are to your self confidence uh, we also said that the most important value you can have is the value of integrity integrity is the value that guarantees all the others having integrity means that uh, you will not compromise on what you believe to be right in any area so integrity is absolutely essential if you want to capitalize on your strength it means more than anything look at yourself honestly and making your decision based on the fact that you are an extraordinary human being next we'll talk about on courage is which is essential uh, so in combination with integrity courage is the most important quality you can have if you want to be happy and self confident if integrity means being honest with yourself then courage means having the strength of mind to follow where your heart leads you now we also have an heading which says be honest with yourself so to follow your heart you don't necessarily need to make a dramatic change in your life or in your relationships what you do need to do is to see yourself honestly 
we have many headings uh, which relate our daily life like compensating for weaknesses developing strengths and resiliency so we all are brought up with feelings of inferiority and inadequacy this chapter also tells us that you are a bundle of resources uh, it gives lesson that uh, we should assess our strengths and weaknesses increase our return on energy uh, this chapter gives us a heading uh, which is you are the president of you which tells us that you may work at someone else's office or company but you are always self employed no matter who signs your paycheck you are working for yourself from the day you take your first job to the day you retire uh, we have a title uh, which is join the top 3% uh, the main objective of this uh, heading in this chapter is uh, that many people have a tough time with this question uh, what matters at this point though is that you are asking the question at all the very fact that you are thinking this way is moving you rapidly into the top 3% of working americans only the top 3% see themselves as self employed and self responsible and they are the most respected and most important people in an organization this chapter also gives us a lesson on designing on our future uh, find out what you are meant to do be prepared to develop new skills the next heading on which we'll talk about is be aware of yourself Uh, the key to become a fully functioning fully integrated personality the basic factors underlying self confidence is for you to become more aware of who you really are and what you really want in life this chapter also tells us to invest in ourselves and uh, next we have a heading which is self analysis and self disclosure so there are also a series of exercises in self analysis and self disclosure that you can complete yourself so perhaps one of the reasons that so many people have such low self confidence is because they have never sat down to make up a list of how talented and capable they really are so the next heading we have is list all your current skills and capabilities so the this topic tells us that walk through a day minute by minute and hour by hour and write out everything that you do over the course of a day a month and a year when you have completed the list you will be astonished at how many skills you have developed and which you can use on a regular basis and by that uh, we should cluster your cluster our roles and activities we can set priorities on our roles so for you to really know yourself you have to take the time to analyze yourself like this This chapter also guide us uh, with heading uh, like which is ask for input from others which means ask a person you trust what he or she thinks are your strong points and your weak points your strengths so you can ask him or her uh, he can give you a suggestion or anything uh, that what they think you should do with your life the next heading we have is the achiever profile Uh, we have a uh, three profiles the first is the achiever profile uh, so the achiever is a person who uh, whose greatest sense of accomplishment comes from achieving something that is most exclusively an individual activity uh, second uh, is the the leader profile and the third we have the affiliation profile uh, a person with an affiliation motivation is the one who most enjoys working harmoniously uh, with other people as part of a team so that is an affiliation profile uh, further we have uh, a heading which is make a real difference your most important job is to apply yourself where you can make the greatest positive difference you feel like a winner you enjoy wonderful things of self confidence and self esteem Uh, the next main point we have is sales versus management i speak on sales management and motivation to a great number of people many of the so called weaknesses that you might have are merely strengths being used in the wrong place and for the wrong purposes uh, we also have a heading of situational weaknesses so a, per- a weakness may simply be situational there is an old saying when you go into the woods you must accept expect the mosquitoes sometimes you will be criticized for the things you do and you 
may conclude that you are weak in these areas however it may be that criticism just comes with the territory so this chapter also tells us to be amenable to education your weakness may be amenable to education often the only thing holding you back from extraordinary accomplishment is a little bit of learning uh, the next we'll talk about on weaknesses uh, are good indicators uh, finally what appears as a weakness can be a key indicator of the type of work or activity that you should not be engaging in uh, it may be that you don't enjoy the area of endeavor at all if you try to do a job or task and you consistently do it poorly this may be a way of nature telling you that this is the wrong field for you so the last heading is of this chapter uh, is strengths and weaknesses so this title states that the most important point to remember with regard to your strengths and weaknesses is that everybody has both uh, there are areas in which you are strong and there are areas in which you can become extraordinary in your performance uh, when you minimize or downplay your weaknesses and simultaneously identify and maximize your strengths you will become a peak performer in everything you decide to do